Whilst the peaceful, sleepy community of Elmore quietly goes about its business as usual, and the tranquil echoes of nature provide a soundtrack of calm and control, there is a mild rumble of anticipation slowly building as the days near closer to the 8th of March. Behind the scenes, the committee are rolling their sleeves up and getting ready for their biggest challenge to this day, the 10th anniversary of the Elmore Summer Send-Off BNS Basically, I oversee what jobs need to be done, so everybody's keen to give a hand, and likes of Brian will take on waste management, and Adam's taken on the higher equipment, Sweeney looks after the activity area, Leanne's looking after merchandise this year. As president, very lucky to have a, a good secretary, make sure that you do get people to, to meetings and, and that's probably the, the hardest bit because it's not, not much fun you know, going to a meeting, sitting there for two hours talking about stuff. You know, it's not just all about a BNS of drinking booze and, and having a good time. Uh, we've got to work out when we want to pick up these cool rooms in Echuca. We've got two large cool rooms. Then we'll go on to Saturday morning, then probably about 11 o'clock we want you to be set up. Um, Paul, the flyers, how are you? Yes, no, they're all done. They're all uh, all over town and surrounding areas, so that's all good. Okay. Stuck on posts everywhere from here to Murrabit. <laughs> <laughs> we've got to make sure we've got a, uh, a liquor licence. Yeah, for a start, we um, you just jump on the computer and we just put in a temporary um, liquor licence for that evening. And um, that, we just lodge that on the computer and pay a little fee and whatever. My name is Neil Thomas and I'm the retired police inspector for the Campaspe and Moira Shires which is northern Victoria. In the very early stages when they first came to us um, uh, I thought that they had was sufficient and it would look good and the first year went quite well. Um, well we give them one of these at the gate and the, uh, the bar staff are instructed to tear one of those off. Uh, they have to tear it off not the actual customer. So they invented a, uh, a wristband which has got all of the little sections on it and they would get clicked as they went up so it's locked onto your wrist so you're the one who had to go and get the drinks. Got to make sure that all our security's right. Um, as I said it all comes back on me I suppose, well that's the way I, I look at it. Well first it's a requirement of the Shire and also for the liquor licence. Uh, the police will put down that there's a requirement for security for such a large number of people and because it's, a, it's alcohol involved in the night. We uh, liaise with the committee and what their requirements are with the um, liquor licensing and we start recruiting uh, guards for about four months before the ball. I think at the last meeting we discussed first aid. Um, we were having a meeting with Craig Grant from Seymour. We decided that he meets our criteria so we've booked him. Uh, once the, the booking's made, we organise uh, an interview as such, where they come up and, or I head up there, and a bit of an interview process, find out about business practice, uh, how we operate things, the people I've got working for me. Um, and from there, we go and have a look at the venue, and then it's discussed what, what I think is needed. They've given me a list of the, the basic requirements. They've, they're asking for more than what their, their permit requires, which shows a, respect for what they're doing uh, but also again being a company we've got to have that public liability and public indemnity so and and they've asked for that so yeah, we've, we've supplied that to them. Preparation for a BNS ball means different things to different people. The bands and entertainers play an important role in making sure the punters have a great time and are hearing the songs they love. Who better to know about that than multi-award winner country music star Doug Bruce. Hey Doug. Harry. How are you mate? Good mate. How are you going? Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm, I'm well. Doug, I want to take you back to the, the days with Cracker Jack when you were playing with us before you were a mega star. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, we used to, we used to prepare for, for BNS balls, um, and, and Elmore was, was one of your first, wasn't it? Was one of the very first ones. Yeah. How do you approach it with your band these days if you're going to do a, a ball? Um, well, you know we we get a lot of feedback from fans. We made a lot of fans from the Elmore uh, the Elmore BNS ball, and we get a lot of feedback from them. So they tell us what they want. A lot of them. This job's gonna kill me if I don't get out.
Yeah, hey Liz, it's Sam. Yeah, good thanks, Dark. We'll get together. Sorry, we still need some more volunteers. Hey Michael, how you doing? Your accommodation's being booked for you as well. Just checking um, that the appointment at the Bendigo Bank today, you're still right for nine o'clock. Morning Liz, how are you? Yeah, well thank you. That's that good. time of year again. BNS ball. Yeah, fantastic. Yep. Uh, I'd like to order my change for the BNS this year. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Uh, we've got the order from last year, yeah. about the same or a bit extra? Um, actually, we've increased the price to 125 so I'm going to need some $5 notes. Yeah, no worries. We can add that to the order. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah great. I was just um, wondering if we could organise for you to meet Brian. He's in charge of El uh, the El Waste and our waste disposals. Um, he'd be available this afternoon at the Elmore Event Centre if we could make a time. Thanks for um, taking the job on this year, this is really good. Oh no, it's a great opportunity for us, so what do you require us to do in relation to these bins after the event? Yeah, so what we'll do, we'll have them down here at this concrete pad, um, so we've got pressure washers and a wash bay here. We'll have them down here, they're predominantly empty, it's just the, the last bit of the smell and a little bit to wash out really. Um, there might be a little bit of paper stuck to the bottom or whatever, that sort of thing, but yeah, just to wash them out, um, then we bring them back across this stack that we've got here at the event centre, so we've got the yellow and red bins and we're just going to reline them up, sort of as you can see. We come out to do the bins, we've been given that opportunity this year by the Charity Ball Committee. It's a fantastic opportunity for us to raise uh, much needed funds for our school community. It's also a great opportunity for our community to come together, to work together and to do something that's outside of education together because that helps us build those relationships and maintain those relationships that are so important for a small rural community. I'm gonna buy everyone in Doug, apparently you and I are too busy to be playing at the uh, Elmore Paul this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a little too busy. Yeah. Yeah. So, we haven't written a song for, for quite a long time. I think we should actually write one for on this year. Yeah, we should write on my birthday song. Let's do it. Yeah. Right, I'm Megan. I'm on the charity ball committee. I've been at it probably oh, be about eight years. We have to order all the food in and we get all the meat cooked up at the local hospital. And the local baker, he bakes oh, probably around the three to four hundred loaves, depending on whether we order more in. And also IGA in. Elmore also gets bread in for us. Good day. Yeah, very well. Okay. I've just got the BMS order for this year. So we supply all the bread, um, uh, primers for the morning breakfast out there, um, cans of coke and soft drink. I think that's about that's the main part of it, but we deliver it all to site for them so it's nice and cold. Elmore BNS, how long? Go there again. Are you serious? What's wrong with that? Come on, man, you put him to sleep. Mm. What's wrong with a little hard work? Michael, part of the commitment that the Elmore BNS Committee has is the cleanliness of our toilets. That's what we're known for, uh, that people can come in and there's always toilet paper here, it's clean, there's no paper on the floor and that's what's given us a good name. So we need to make sure that you've got enough staff to cover that and to be able to service the toilets regularly. No, that's, that's fine, Sam. Um, what we'll do is we'll bring up six staff members. We we'll actually have three ladies, three gentlemen, uh, so they can look after the male and female toilets, and we'll station them there all night. What's wrong with a little hard work? What's wrong with a little hard work? How about this? Been done. No. How about this? No. Well, there's a bit of a, a lead up to it all. We um, organise to get a, a slogan each year, so we have something different, something catching each year. We design it up ourselves. Um, once we approve the design and the slogan and everything, we send that off to RV for some temps to be done up. Usually they'll call us a month before, um, sometimes hopefully a little bit earlier, um, and give us a bit of a rundown of what quantities and that, that they're looking for, what type of garments, 
Um, this year has been a really special year as um, the garments have changed for the first time to something a little bit different. So what they tend to do is they'll, they'll contact us first, then um, once they've got the designs, they'll email that through to us, see what we think, see if that's workable, and um, then we try to work the best way to make the design sort of come out so that the people from the Elmore BNS Ball will look at um, buying them. And you got one word, man. Yeah, what is it? Elmore. Hey fellas, sell it too much and you'll go blind. Best save your eyes for the 2014 Elmore BNS Ball. The Elmore Summer Send Off BNS Ball, Saturday, March 8th, is celebrating 10 years. Tickets $125 at the gate with Chris Starr, the Viper Creek Band, and Trainwreck Trio performing live Saturday night. It's gonna be a blast. More info at elmoresummersendoff.org.au. I'm Paul Lavaz, uh, station manager of FM 1025 and 2QN 1521 AM radio. Our involvement uh, began when Sam came in, um, obviously year one of the uh, setup of the ball, and uh, ever since then, every year, we uh, organise all the commercials and uh, interviews with the artists that are going to be singing there. Uh, we do ticket giveaways on air, uh, we play into over 30 towns and uh, we give it as much coverage as we can so that the ball is uh, successful. Train wreck trio, I, I think, uh, yeah, we've four of us have already seen them, and I think they're an inclusion that we have to use. Um, Doug Bruce and the Tailgaters always put on a good performance, been a really good supporter of us, as have Cracker Jack. Um, Paul Costa's really keen to come back in and happy to play with Train Wreck. And um, Viper Creek um, are a new band that um, we talked about last time, but they're up and coming and that's what we always you know we talk about supporting our young artists and our independence. We try and promote young up and coming bands. Hey folks I'm Nick. I'm Brody. I'm Casey. I'm Tom and we are the, the Wolf Brothers. Brothers. <laughs> we seriously got I reckon about 10 BNS balls books from that, you know, which was just awesome. That was like, we just needed that first bit of a break. We needed that first, we just needed someone to give us a chance, you know, and Elmore was the one that they said, we'll give them a chance, you know, and it was just, changed, changed everything. They've made it, they're doing quite well. We want to promote people to, <coughs> to get them to where the Wolf Brothers are now. So. Yeah, but it is the 10th one, so we would be better off. So you get them back where they started from, maybe? Well, we were the first mainland venue. venue that they played at, so yeah, a bit like Sunny Cowgirls, we always push that a little bit. Does so that mean they do it for like free or cheaper? <laughs> Hi, I'm So, and I'm Les, and we're the Sunny Cowgirls. Uh, the Elmore BNS for us will go down in history as probably one of the best BNSs around. Oh, it really will. It was so much fun, and uh, we definitely won't forget it in a hurry. Yeah, we can do it there. You, you, you can take, you have all the harmonies there. Yeah. Yeah, cool, yeah. Can I play drums? Yes. Yes. Harry, I can't hear my guitar. Or anything else. How's your volunteers? Okay, well, how about we get together? Sorry, we still need some more volunteers. It's that time of the year where the, once again the BNS ball's coming around fast. Uh, big part of our fundraising for the club, so we're, we're once again looking for volunteers to uh, work on the bar or in the kitchen. The BNS community and the town as a whole, um, just you, it'd be a long walk to find some better people. They were the first ones to give us a go, and not only did they give us a go, I mean, they, they looked after us, they gave us great accommodation. You know, great food, drinks, we just, we felt like kings. Are you asleep? 
it's a community thing and you know everyone that comes wants to come and that's what they're here for to have a good time. I'm happy to do it. Glad I'm invited to the committee show, yeah. You know, when you when you're giving out a, a decent sum of money at the end of the year, it is it's great. It's you know, it's just good to see what you've done for a small country town. Well actually the day we donate the money is the best the best day. There's people in tears, there's, it's just so good giving the money to the community. Oh, it's gonna be cool. Absolutely. I think we got it. Oh, we got it. Let's go. All right. Happy birthday, Elmo. Happy, uh, happy birthday, Elmo. <laughs> we got a hit. We got a big sale. I don't think so. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>